What's up everybody on the Mangoos, you were awesome and predecessor recently released early access footage of Kalari. The video follows the adventures of a plucky young assassin as she grows in power. This is the first public showing of the game since their last closed beta test in April and it reaffirms what I personally love about predecessor. Top tier animations and smooth as butter gameplay. However, changes to the game are few and far between. I think that's fine for predecessor. Out of all the Paragon remakes, I feel Omeda had the least amount of problems that needed to be addressed. The video itself lacks an announcer, has Discord noises in the background, and is nothing more than a full gameplay video, so I'm not a big fan of the release itself, but the footage reaffirms that Omeda knows what they're doing with Pred. Today I'm going to go through what I liked about the gameplay as well as what I disliked about the video overall. I think the biggest improvement showcased in the video was the game UI. It has been greatly improved since the beta test. Everything is sleeker while still providing all the information you need. I especially like that they made room for crest progress. If you didn't know, you pick a crest at the start of Predecessor, and once certain conditions are met, you level that crest up into one of three active items that serve to either complement your strengths or shore up your weaknesses. Often in the beta test, I had no idea what my crest progress was, but with the new UI, I'll be able to better track what I need to do in order to gain a powerful new item. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't remember being presented with this crest selection screen in the CBT. This is a major improvement that will help players better understand the importance and possible impact of those crests. The item shop UI has also been improved. It's smaller, a bit more transparent, and looks to be easier to use. You can select what stats you need and appropriate items are presented to you. Not only does it look good, but it gives you so much more information than it used to. This seems to be the theme of Predecessor now, a smaller UI that still somehow presents more information. I also like that they added minion spawn portals. This may seem like something small, but when you're assaulting the core to end the game, it pays to know exactly when and where the enemy minions are spawning. I don't know how many times I've thought that I was running to the core with a full posse of minions at my back only to get blasted in the face, turn around, and see that my minions are hung up on an enemy wave. Not only do you get the minion portals indicating the time of spawn, there's also a map element present that lets you know exactly where they're going to spawn. The spawn portals also show up for major jungle objectives like Fangtooth. The smite item is now active. I totally missed this and luckily Clorox TV pointed it out to me. The jungle smite item in Predecessor used to be a passive item. It was If it was off cooldown and the target was low enough, the smite would just activate. That took away a lot of player agency and skill expression. Omeda has corrected this and we now have an active smite that has to be used at the right time and can also save your ass when you're running away at low health. Props to Omeda for listening to our feedback on this one. Lastly, the game just looks great. That isn't anything new, but I feel it's worth pointing out. Appearance and polish have been the hallmark of Predecessor, and that hasn't changed. While we have no idea what system specs this Kalari player has, we know from the past playtests that Pred is extremely well optimized, and you'll be able to play this on decently high settings at a solid frame rate on a relatively low spec machine. I was able to run on epic settings at 60 FPS with an Nvidia 1660 Ti in the last playtest, if that helps you know about what you'll need for this game to run well. I do of course have some negative feedback for this early access showcase. The main thing being that, aside from the UI, there's very little that's new here. They still have the same free epic asset item art, Decker is the only new hero we see, and all the heroes are rocking missionary skins. The new UI is awesome, but I feel like that's the only real thing that's changed since the last beta test 8 months ago. Ameda started with an amazing team at its base, but what we see here seems like more of what they were already capable of. I'm kind of fine with that since it was the, the core predecessor team that made me believe in this project in the first place, but it also makes me ask, where did all that money go? I know this is just a quick gameplay video from Pred, but I would have hoped to see a bit more progress. At least, at least show us a skin or something, goddamn. Something else I noticed that I don't like at all is Kalari seems to unlock her camera at one point and take a full 360 view around her. I already dislike predecessor's edition of UI icons that indicate when someone is behind you, but to make it so that you can just free look around yourself kind of takes away from one of the things that separates a third person MOBA from an isometric top down. I know it doesn't make much physical sense that you can't just look behind you, but it adds to the immersion when you can't see everything going on in every direction. 
Pushing up past the river is scary in a third person MOBA because you can't see when a rotation from the enemy team is sneaking up behind you. I'm sure junglers will hate this as well because it, you know, it takes away from your gank potential. Let me know in the comments what you think of this change. Um, I don't like it as a support main turn mid main, but I'm really curious what others think. My biggest problem with this announcement was the video itself. There is no announcer in the gameplay. The gameplay is mostly just uncut and it's fairly uninteresting. It, a little boring and and there are discord bleeps and bloops left in the background yes i know i've had discord sounds in my recordings but you know give the old mangoose 22 million dollars to see if that happens again this was the first beefy update we've gotten from omeda in a long time and it seemed like a haphazard slapped together knee-jerk response to overprime's recent announcements i honestly hope that that's the case because if this was a planned hype release they did a real shit job of it Overall, I'm very happy to see something new from Omeda Studios. We're getting closer and closer to early access, and I want to see how far they've come since the previous beta. While there weren't many changes displayed in the video, most of the ones they made are good changes. I certainly don't want to see Predecessor get complacent as the top dog of the Paragon remakes, but I've enjoyed the hell out of what they've offered us so far. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub for more third-person MOBA content, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose! Special shout out to channel members I Blood Hunter, Blastoise King, Raven, Meow Mix for Ben, Jelly Knees, Clorox TV, Joshua Van Noctis, Stunt, Actual Dez, Soul Reaper, J Man 63, Levy, Version 2, Dapper Dice, and Lionheart Official.